Now that you've got your laptop, headphones, and speakers connected to your controller, it's time to launch Serato DJ Lite for the very first time. Let's get to it. So head on over to your Applications folder or your Program Files directory, look for Serato DJ Lite, and then double-click on it to launch it. Cool, so you're going to see Serato DJ Lite for the very first time. It may look a little bit complicated, especially if this is your first time seeing DJ software, but don't worry, this video will demystify this interface and I'll just give you a very brief overview of what it's all about. So let's begin with the top half of your screen. This is the virtual Dex area of Serato DJ Lite. As you can see, it's split into two. The left side is the left deck or deck deck number one, and the right side is deck number two. Now below that, you're going to find this black strip here in the middle. This is the waveform display. It will show you the visual representation of the music that you've got loaded over onto the decks. Right, so that's it for the top half of the screen. Now let's turn our attention to the bottom half, which is the browser of Serato DJ Lite. Basically, this is where you're going to find your music library. This is where you're going to find your Serato DJ crates. This is where you're going to find your iTunes folder for all the music that you've got in iTunes. Basically, this is where you're going to be preparing your music within the Serato DJ Lite environment. So you can just scroll around, just bring your mouse over there, and you can go have a look at all of the playlists and crates that you've currently got. I've been using Serato DJ for a while now, so as you can see, I've got like a bunch of crates in here. And if this is your first time using the software, you probably won't see this. However, if you do have iTunes on your computer, well, you're going to find your iTunes music already loaded within Serato DJ Lite. Okay, so we've gone through the top half of the screen, which are the decks and the waveform displays, and the bottom, which contains the browser. Now let's go to the secondary features of Serato DJ Lite. If you look over here to the very top of your screen, you're going to find the FX button. If you left click on it, the FX menu pops up. So basically each deck has up to three effects that you can enable at the same time. And if you left click on this, you've got a selection of different types of effects. So that's it for the effects. If you left click on it, it disappears. And left click on this one over here, which looks like an air horn. This is actually the Serato sampler. And over here, you can drop audio samples, whether that's a loop or a sound file. And you can trigger them using the sampler pad mode, which I will cover at the latter portion of this course. So let's just hide that for now. Basically, this is the screen that you're going to be using most of the time with the decks at the top and your browser with your music at the bottom. Right, so before we end this video, let's have a look at some settings in Serato DJ Lite and make sure that we've got it optimized for use. So to access settings, all you got to do is to click on the gear icon over here on the upper right of your screen. Go to the Library and Display tab. And you're going to want to make sure that Show iTunes Library is enabled. Some people prefer managing their music within iTunes. You can also just let Serato DJ Lite manage your DJ library, and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that later on in this course. So for now, just make sure that the iTunes library box here is ticked. And then let's move on over to Mixer. And let's move over here to the Crossfader section. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that the curve is set to slow. Right now, it's set to fast, so you just got to click and drag down on this up until it reaches its slowest setting. This is what is going to enable us to do some really smooth mixes, which is what we're going to be doing later on in this course. You've now got Serato DJ Lite running on your laptop, and I've just given you an overview of the interface. Now, I want you to make those settings changes in Serato DJ Lite's preferences, and I want you to spend a bit of time getting familiar with the layout and look of Serato DJ Lite. In the next lesson, I'll show you how the DDJ SB2 controller mirrors the Serato DJ Lite software interface. See you then.